What is up guys, Tony here with iTech Check, and as promised, here is the Whitestone Dome for the Galaxy S20 Plus. As you can see, I have my S20 Plus here. Uh, since I did my last review, I've kept the Spigen um, protective film on the phone, and as you can see, it has bubbled up on the top right hand corner, and still on the left, and it has kind of like that orange peel texturing to it not nearly as good as glass it kind of does protect but if things are going to be you know bubbling up on the sides you're going to have issues so we're going to go ahead and try the whitestone dome it is all glass it uses adhesive to stick to the glass of the phone and that's probably going to work the best because the screens are curved and this is what happens to that so i will also be putting a link to this product in case you guys want to purchase it and if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. I'm very hopeful for the, for the Whitestone. We're going to go ahead and do a full install and I'll give you my, my thoughts at the end. So let's get started. Okay, so first we're going to peel off the old screen protector. Comes off very easily. Okay. So here's what you get inside the box. We have this plastic piece here. We don't know what that's for yet. We have our vials of adhesive, our little accessory packet, <coughs> our instructions, warranty. Okay, we got some stickers here. These look like they're for the speaker grills. I don't know what these are for yet. Take the top tray off. So you get three vials of adhesive, two screen protectors. Here's our tray. Here's our UV light, a little micro USB cable. So the easiest thing I found to do with this uh, this light is to get a power bank if you have one. If you don't, um, then you can probably plug it in, you know, to like a computer or something, or your uh, phone charger will work. So this is the bottom of our tray here. These are our speaker grill stickers okay open up our little packet here okay here is our alcohol prep dust remover our little side pads to absorb anything that might spill over the sides our little cleaning cloths we only need one it comes with two we're going to go ahead and wipe it down with alcohol first. So make sure you get all the sides here. Especially if you had another screen protector on it. Okay, it's pretty well wiped off. Go ahead and take our little cleaning cloth here. Wipe it down real good. Get the sides. Okay, so the phone goes in this way with the speaker up at the top. Okay, that is in there, give it another wipe down. So if you look at these little stickers here, they have a little cutout, and on the top here, there's a little cutout for that. So we're going to go ahead and kind of line that up. Okay, so that's evenly covering the speaker there. Okay, so now that that's aligned, we'll go ahead and get any dust off. Now I'll put the top tray down. Okay, so that's fitted over there. Now we're going to put the absorption pads on the sides here. Just push those down. Okay, so make sure those are touching the phone. Okay, so now we 
put in the pin at the top of the tray here. Let's put that in like that. All right. Now the little black bridge here, we're going to put that over the top like so. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to go ahead and take off the colored cap. We're going to screw it into the top here and then let all of the liquid flow out on top of the screen. Okay. So I put this in here. Okay, it doesn't really screw in, it just kind of sits there. Now we, there's a little bit of dust here. And then we're going to go ahead and unscrew the black top. And all the liquid just kind of flowed out onto the screen here. So just kind of let that sit for maybe a minute and make sure all of the liquid has come out. Okay, so once the liquid is all out of there, we're going to go ahead and put the black cap back on here. And then we'll go ahead and take this out. Okay, as you can see, the liquid is all right there. So now we're going to go ahead and take one of our screen protectors. You're going to peel the back off of it. Then we're going to put down the bottom edge first and then the top edge will uh, rest on the black tab here. Okay. So that is in there, okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to push down on the little bottom plastic here. The, the adhesive is gonna flow down the middle here and there's two little arrows. Once the adhesive reaches those arrows in the middle, we're gonna go ahead and release it and then we're gonna pull out the top here and then all of the adhesive should flow over all of the uh, screen protector here. So as you can see, it is moving. We want the middle of the adhesive to get to the arrows. Then we're going to stop, okay? And then we're gonna pull out the little tab here and it will flow over all of the screen here. I don't know if you can see that. You can see uh, right up here in the corner here, it's flowing. So we're gonna let that go over the whole screen for at least 60 seconds. And whatever you do, do not move or touch the screen at all until the adhesive has totally covered the whole screen. It may take some minutes, maybe, you know, five, ten minutes. But you want to make sure that the, he the adhesive gets to at least all of the corners because that is the most important. Okay, so right now it only looks like this one corner up here is our last uh, it looks like the adhesive have, has flowed over the whole entire screen. Looks really good so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and wait for that little corner to finish. Okay, so that looks pretty good. It looks like all the edges have been covered by the adhesive. So now what we're going to do is use our little UV light. For 15 seconds, we're going to cure the top, then cure the bottom portion, and this has a 60 second and a 15 second uh, setting on it. So you press it once for 15 seconds. So go ahead and put this over the top while it's still in the tray. We'll go ahead and push this button once. It'll go ahead and automatically turn off when it's done. Okay, then we're gonna cure the bottom portion for another 15 seconds. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and lift off the top here. And we're gonna go ahead and take off our speaker sticker. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and take our alcohol wipe that we had prior and we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the sides to kind of get rid of any adhesive that may have gotten on the sides here. Go ahead and wipe that down gently. Doesn't seem like any got to the edge. Okay, so once that's done, we'll move the rest of the tray out of the way. We'll take our phone here. 
and then we're going to go ahead and let this cure for 60 seconds. So we'll press the button twice. Okay. We'll just leave that on there. Just for me, I'm just to make sure I'm going to do another one in the middle. And then kind of another one down at the bottom edges here. The phone is kind of large. <laughs> it's very long and the UV light device doesn't seem to cover everything all at once. So just to, as a precaution, I'm going to do some extra time. Okay, so now the curing process is done. Go ahead and wipe down the screen. He looks good. Looks like we got a little a little bubble right here, but not too worried about it. other than that it looks really nice so let's go ahead and re-register our fingerprints now and we're going to add our fingerprint now okay okay so fingerprint was added let's go ahead and see how it works look at that Seems to be working pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be working pretty good, guys. Super quick, too. There's really no lag. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. I don't know if you can see the edges here looks really nice and clean there's the little cutout for your camera up at the top here very nice installation very clean none of the edges are coming up it looks as if pretty much you just have the glass that came with the phone so let's try that fingerprint again very nice that it looks like uh whitestone dome might have it you know the funny thing is so the instructions that I followed weren't actually for the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor installation. It, it kind of didn't make sense. I didn't realize it at first. I just saw this installation page and I thought that this was probably it. Why they would come with two different instructions, I don't know because all of the Galaxy S20 Pluses have the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. I found this. It's an extra installation guide. This one's for the ultrasonic recognition model. Like, why do they have two installation guides? I don't know. Um, but this particular guide is for installing the glass on the screen protector the right way. And that's where we never saw this thing and these little pieces here and these extra stickers. So. This is actually a different way of installation, um, but this this other installation guide that I followed seemed to be working uh, pretty good. So if if this works, the other one I'm gonna say is definitely going to work, and we'll try it one more time. So you can see our fingerprints right. And if you can see that, it's right there, and it unlocks. Again, uh, after you do the installation of the screen protector or before, just make sure you go into your settings. You want to go to display. I'm going to go to go down to uh, touch sensitivity, and make sure you increase that because that's going to help the phone uh, detect your fingerprints. And as you can see, there are no touch screen issues. Everything works just as well. Flawless. Uh, let's go ahead and see how it fits inside the case that we have here. This is, again, um, our Rinky case, Fusion X. Seems to fit in there really well. I don't see any problems. Looks super great. Goes right up to the case edge, so you won't have any issues. Beautiful. So again, guys, we I think we found our winner, Whitestone Dome for the win. Looks beautiful, is tempered glass, works with the in-display fingerprint sensor. Don't waste your time with any other uh, screen protectors, especially the ones that I did on my other video. I would just go ahead and go right for the Whitestone Dome and save yourself some time. 
It is a little more expensive, but as you can see, it definitely works a lot better and it looks beautiful on your phone. So, so a couple other things I wanna say first. When you're doing this installation, make sure that the surface you have is totally flat and you are away from any open windows because the sunlight will interfere with the curing process of the adhesive. So kind of do it in a room that's away from um, you know sunlight. Uh, you can use your flare fluorescent lights or whatever. Um, but yeah, make sure you're away from sunlight, flat surface, clean, dust free, and your installation should come out uh, just like mine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys appreciated it. If you haven't subscribed, definitely make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.